It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Let's get out of here. I. Hey everyone, it's Aaron from God a Minute. This is just a short one. I think Jesus is coming. So, uh, Dr. Barry had sent me uh, a message about uh, the Islamic flag, and he sent me a video, and the video was by Pastor Steve Caliente. And the title of his video was Terror Eclipses, What No One Told You About April 8th and the Apocalyptic Sign of Jonah. And so the interesting thing that he found was the Islamic flag looks like a solar eclipse. Now, most of us think about it as a lunar, or not even a lunar eclipse, just a, a phase of a moon. But actually, the shape of it, it looks like a solar eclipse. Now, I've talked in length uh, about four months ago. I went, went down the rabbit hole of the the Islamic faith or the Muslim faith. And um, one of the videos that you should consider watching if you have no clue about the faith of Islam, I did a video about four months ago. I called it the difference between Christianity and Islam beliefs in which the Antichrist has set up. I did a handful of them about uh, four or five months ago. But I really think that the Antichrist is going to use this religion and this system uh, to bring, to piggyback off of during the tribulation. The Islamic faith is generally just completely in their scripture against the Trinity. They do not think that God has a son. Uh, they do not think that Jesus died on the cross. They think that God, you know, mystically took him off the cross before he died. They are completely Antichrist. There is everything they believe is the exact opposite of the book of Revelation. Everything, everything is designed in complete opposition to what we believe in the end times. And so here we have this solar eclipse that now looks like an Islamic flag, and it's going over the U.S. Here is my thing that I made like two months ago, and it looks like an ox head. And what do they do in the wilderness, the Israelites? They sacrifice to a golden cow, and it uh, gets God pretty angry. And so we have this aleph. And we've got this Tav shape. And the other thing that we have here, too, is Keith showed me that uh, this is a triangle. And it, thank you for showing us the obvious. I forgot all about this. This is a Dalet. And this, there you go. You've got a Dalet here. And that's how you would draw an ancient uh, Dalet, which means door. And what does Jesus say? I am the door. And Christy and I did a great study on the Dalet, the door. Um, Revelation 4, verse 1. Trumpets blowing, come up here, a door opens, and all that stuff. But staying on theme here with this video is we have um, the Islamic flag, the Muslim flag. It looks like a total solar eclipse, total solar eclipse. So every time I see a total solar eclipse now, I'm thinking Muslim. I'm thinking Islam. Now, the iPad Goat 2 videos, uh, I don't know if you know if they're even available to watch right now, but remember that there's a solar eclipse on Obama's face, and there's a solar eclipse in the background of that one guy with the beard, and uh, very, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. Uh, get tight with Christ, not with anybody else. There's only one way to heaven. That There's only one way to eternal life, and that is through Jesus, the Son of God who died for your sins, perfect, sinless man came and died for you. What is your response? My response is, I do. I accept the marriage proposal that he set up for us at the Lord's uh, Supper, the Last Supper, when he said, this is my bread, this is my body represented through the bread, this is my blood represented through the wine. He died for you, he died for me, that's it, that's all. Once you accept that proposal and you fully believe you become a child of God, then you could say, hey, my name is so-and-so, and I'm a child of God, that's it. That's all. Your identity is hidden in Christ after that, and you're gone. You're gone. You'll be flying soon, okay? Anyway, take it easy. One day closer. See in the clouds. Go, Jesus, go. Hallelujah, I'll see.